Take one. Good morning, everybody. My name's Josh Yerke. I'm a captain with Clackamas Fire on engine, engine 319. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> that looks dumb. Power thing. Good morning, everybody. My name's Josh Yerke. I'm a captain with Clackamas Fire. That doesn't look good. The helmet back on. Go ahead. Actually, nope. Go. Hi, my name's Josh Yerke. I work with Clackamas Fire. Hi, we're gonna be talking about the R&D process that we're going through with engine 319, the split lay bed. If you hate the idea of this R&D process, you're just gonna be laying in just like normal. So if you put everything aside, you can just do thing, things as is. No change then? No change, zero change. All right, today we're gonna to show you laying in dry with double header. We're gonna show you how to load the hose. All right, so let's hop in the fire engine and do this. Where's your crew? I don't know. <laughs> Is anyone gonna listen to you? He's a captain. For I know. Crying for out loud. Crying out loud. Get me in. Oh. Our goal with this is to maximize water from our hydrants, place a pumper on the hydrant, and hopefully operate above the capacity of the pump. Our goal is to reverse when we have that option. The first two pumpers should be going into the scene and initiating fire attack from the booster tank. The second new officer is the one that's going to be making the tactics call on how they're going to get the water supply taken care of, whether it's reverse, forward lay dry, forward lay wet, etc. Now you have another option with the split lay bed. This load gives you the ability to lay a double header, 600 feet on each side with a divider in the middle, and AJ's going to show you how to take that hydrant. So go ahead, AJ. So first step is to take the coupling from the left side, leave one of them on the tailboard, grab your lanyard from the other section, and make that connection so all you're dealing with is one piece of webbing to take the double header. Perfect, so as you can see, everything's gonna pay out just like it normally would. We are paying out the entire bed with the split lay bed. We've laid a double header, and then we're gonna simulate what the AO would be doing, uh, pulling those lines and hooking up to the attack pump. Hey guys, so we just laid in a double header from the hydrant. Uh, we stopped about 70 feet short. I'm gonna grab these two connections and we're gonna hook into the tack bumper. Let's do this. He freestyled a little bit on the let's do this. Yeah, he's doing great though. Does he know there's no attack bumper there? <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and make these connections. We're gonna take one to the rear. Intake. We're gonna take our second one, the four inch Jaffrey. That's what we would do if we laid a double header. So we're gonna reload the split lay bed. From the start, what you need to do is leave a tail on the tailboard and then start loading it just like you normally would. Let's 
So as you can see, AJ and Thomas are just loading this hose side to side. There's only enough room for two flakes, and we're just gonna load 600 feet on this one side. So just to review, right now what we're doing is loading the right side of the 600 feet and then we're going to load the left side with the 600 feet that's there. Remember all we need to do is leave a tail on the right side and then the left side you take a coupling clear to the back, load it and you're going you're gonna to couple the tail to the top of the left side lay bed. All right, I want to share with you uh, the fact that engine 309 is also doing this R&D process and rather than leaving a tail that leaves the coupling on the tailboard, They've got theirs shortened up so that the coupling lands literally right here at the back and then they bring the top flake off and have that coupled so it sits right on the rig. So you're going to see those two different options. Let us know what you think and which one you think is better or safer. So we just finished loading the right side of our split lay bed. We got 600 feet of 4 inch line and like Josh pointed out earlier we have our long tail that's going to connect to the top of our left side of our hose bed. So we're going to go ahead and begin by loading same way we started on the left side with the four inch, we're gonna start on the left side, but instead of leaving a coupling out, we're gonna take this coupling clear to the back and then load it like a flat load like we normally have. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> All right, we're at the end of this. So the last thing to do is to make the coupling or couple these, uh, taking the one that's hanging on the tailboard and the top of the left 600 feet couple of these and then have them pull the slack. So what we've learned on this is that you need to rotate this coupling 180 so that you can get the fold the, the right way so it lays against the back of the engine. Perfect. That lays out of the way. Well you can tell which uh, side the captain loaded. Oh man, terrible. <laughs> Let's recap. So if nothing changes and you want to lay a single line to the fire, you, you just perform as you have in the past. The thing you need to remember is if you're going to lay a double header, laying both supply lines, you only have 600 feet. So you got to know what 600 feet is. Uh, a tenth of a mile is roughly 500 feet. So get out there and practice. Start pulling this line, taking hydrants and getting used to it. demonstrating a split laybed reverse from the attack pumper to the hydrant. We're going to show how we're going to heal two lines. It's a little bit more cumbersome than a single line, but for safety's sake, we're going to illustrate and show you guys how to do that. Ideally in this situation when you're reversing from the attack pumper and you're reversing to the hydrant, as soon as you stop the officer and the firefighter should be getting off and going to work uh, on the house fire and ideally having the AO grab that line and heal it and make his connections to his engine. Um, obviously if he's throwing ladders or if he's busy, the firefighter can do it.
just as a reminder, when you're healing the hose, remember or be conscious about how much hose you're gonna need to make your connections at the attack bumper and adjust accordingly. We're at the hydrant. Tim's gonna go ahead and make his connections and we'll illustrate what he's doing with the video. And then if there's anything that you think needs to be changed, let the hose committee know and uh, we'll take it into consideration. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. Don't get my zits. I don't, hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Killing me. <laughs> oh my god. She's gonna connect to the top of our left side of our uh, double double A bed. Are we gonna change the name to double? <laughs> I think I gotta start over. <laughs> Split lay bed. Super smooth. So quick question, just camera etiquette. Should I be looking at the lens? Or should I be looking off like they normally do at 30 degrees, like they're talking to someone interviewing them? Okay, let's be done. Get done here. Okay, let's what? finish her up. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>